using the reverse tear feature on your scale, your food scale. So when you're um, weighing something and you want to track something that's maybe in a jar or uh, any kind of liquid, using the reverse tear feature is great because you can put your jar, your container, on your scale and hit the zero or the tear button. And then we're going to scoop out the portion that we want and it's going to show up as a negative number. So if we look at the back, back of a jar of peanut butter, we can see that the uh, serving size is two tablespoons, but it's 32 grams, and that's the number that we wanna focus on because that's the weight. Um, so we've got 16 grams of fat, six grams of carbs, and seven grams of protein in 32 grams of peanut butter. So we put our jar back on the scale, we make sure it's on zero, and it is, and we're gonna scoop out what we think is a serving. So about 32 grams. Oh, it came out to 33. So there we go. There is a serving of peanut butter according to the nutritional information on the jar. So to make a point, if we zero this out and we take our kitchen tablespoon and we're gonna measure a tablespoon, you would think one tablespoon would come out to 16 grams, right? Because that's half a serving. So if I scoop out what I think is a tablespoon, it's a little messy, but that's about a tablespoon. You can see that it came out to 31 grams. So if I did this twice, it's gonna come out to 62 grams, and I'm only going to be tracking 32 grams, and that's where it's important to weigh versus measure.